we're at UBC campus and finally we're back here after months and months of isolation and uh, we're gonna try to finish that video that we started in February if you haven't seen that video the link is in the description watch the whole COVID series and the reason why we like to come to UBC is because it's busy here there's students everywhere it's like fun So I've been basically working out, going outside for walks and studying for my midterms and finals and that stuff. How's school? It's really different now. For like, you know, you wake up in the morning, like, okay, I gotta go to class at this time. If you miss class, you can't really do much. But now with COVID, if you miss a class, it's been recorded anyway. So you can always just watch it later. So all virtual and so you can get really lazy. You can't really get lazy because you still need to do the work, you know? It's like the work's not going away. The assignments are still happening. Even if you miss your class. <laughs> okay, what do you hate the most about the whole COVID thing? Before, like going out of your house to go study, like your home to go study, it kind of gets you in that mindset of like, okay, I'm going to, out to do work. But now when you're at home, you, that's a place where you chill. So in turn, mentally, you're like, it's hard to get yourself in the mood to study. And things like going to the library where people are studying around you kind of makes you more in the mood to study. But when you're home, it's hard to get that motivation. Any positive? At first, there was like all these negative stuff where I was kind of struggling with it. But as the months pass, it's like you start slowly figuring out how to adjust to it. Yeah. So now, even when I'm home and I'm feeling lazy, I kind of find ways to motivate myself to do, to get whatever I need to get done. And I guess it also makes you more grateful for like when there are events happening, when there are things. Like before you kind of took it for granted and yeah, now you're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, now that we don't have anything, we don't yeah, really yeah. get to go out. You start seeing the value in that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so used to it that it doesn't phase you, but when it's gone. Well, after uh, two hours of this, uh, Joe quit and went home. So um, I guess I'll just uh, do the outro for him. So this is the last COVID video we're doing. Because, yeah, it's shit. There'll be some uh, extra shots that he filmed previously. Phase 2 reopening, May 18th to June 24th, 2020. Downtown sidewalks. So I headed downtown and had a look around to see how busy it was. I knew there was going to be people but I was surprised that it was business as usual, almost. Most people kept their social distance. Not many people were wearing masks as this was the first reopening of lockdown. And yeah, as you can see, the sidewalks were pretty busy. English Bay. I decided to take a stroll down to English Bay. I knew there was going to be people because it was close to the start of the summer for Vancouver. But I didn't expect to be that many people. As you can see, most of the logs have been removed previously during lockdown because people were gathering at the beaches when the weather was good. From the video, you can see there are clusters of people gathering. I really think this would be way more entertaining if I had an Australian accent and made my voice over sound like a wildlife documentary. COVID nightlife? The police blocked off the Granville Strip as usual with their patrol cars, but it was not as busy as summertime would be nightlife wise. Most places are closed and the places that were open, there were lineups. It's very difficult to keep people away from crowds. Humans are just naturally social animals. Crikey. More room to walk. The city of Vancouver has increased the sidewalk size by taking up a parking lane to allow more room to walk. 
more room to wait for storefronts. Parking lanes are taken up to allow more space for people to wait when entering a store. Like London Drugs. More room to wait for transit. This video is brought to you by Space. We need space. More room to eat. Street patios. These patios are for restaurants in the area to offer more seating for their diners. More room to chill. Pop-up plazas. A city side block is blocked off from traffic to allow more room to sit down and chill. Malls opened with social distancing and reduced hours. There's a lot of stay two meters apart signs on the floor. Just some mask wears. Some people taking their mask off a little bit to drink. This is not planned. Uh, these two guys are just random. But some stores are closed. Some stores have a greeter at the front to either take your temperature or give you hand sanitizer, like that. Hey, your baby doesn't have a mask. The food court has a lot of tables blocked off to reduce the amount of people that's in the food court. You see the plastic wrap around all those chairs and tables? Great use of caution tape. Yeah, Lululemon had their gates closed and they're eliminating the amount of people going in. So there's a lineup outside. Some stores are doing that. The fountain area is blocked off to avoid crowding. You gotta wait outside. Hand sanitizer station next to the security guard for the Apple store. They created directional arrows to tell you where to go so that you can avoid bumping into each other. So keep right. But nobody pays attention to the signs. Here's me entering through the parking lot at Crystal Mall. Crystal Mall is an Asian mall right beside Metrotown. There's a lot more stores closed here and it's a lot more empty in terms of the shopping areas. But the food court had people. A lot of the tables are blocked off, so less sitting capacity. Yeah, a lot less people compared to uh, Metro. That yellow sign place there, Shanghai Dim Sum House? Try that place, it's really good. What does he normally say? Thanks for watching. Share, subscribe. If you want, I don't care. And yeah, I'll see you later, I suppose.